I'll just skip Gordon until I need a like something. Amy, didn't expect to see you back so soon. Yeah, I remembered that I had something else to talk to Danton about. No big deal, really. Don't mind me. Whatever you say. Can I just uh Okay, good. You again? I'd like to speak with Danton, please. Fine. Wait here. What's my plan right now? Hey, can I have work and quests? I'm not suspicious. So you're back. What is it now? I know who you are and what your people are doing. I'd, I'd like to help. I'm flattered that you want to help us, but I feel we have some matters to resolve first. What matters are those? Enough of these games. You're going to have to start telling me the truth if you want to get out of here alive. Oh no. What? I have been! Let's not be so drastic! Don't play coy with me, Blondie. Do you think I'm stupid? I had you followed when you left here. Oh, I know no. you went to the Ministry of Energy. Now I'm only gonna ask you this once, and I want the truth. Are you working for Tiberius or aren't you? Do we actually tell the real truth? Because hmm. I don't... I wouldn't work for him. And she hasn't really told... And he, he hasn't, she hasn't really said, yes, I will do this spy work for you. I will spy on these people. You do realize people need to do lottery jobs to survive, right? It doesn't mean I like the guy. A lottery job? Oh, I see. And what other choice have I got? It's not like I can walk up to the Ministry of Medicine and buy a dose. I'm so sorry. You don't deserve what's happening to you. This is why we have to act. They've been beating us down for so long, nobody remembers a time when they were prosperous and free. Struggling against the system may not be pretty, but it's the only way we can improve our lives. Danton, if she's got a connection to Tiberius, she could prove useful. You know, you're right. Having another double agent would be beneficial to us now that we've lost Milton. But I'm not gonna make you this offer for free. I'd hate for Tiberius to outbid me for your loyalty. Instead of hoping your lottery ticket gets chosen, how about you end up with as many actual doses of vaccine as you want? What are you talking about? You have access to vaccine? Not just yet, but if all goes to plan, we will. I'll tell you more as soon as you help us out with something. Are you familiar with the junk vendor and butcher in the market? Gordon and Gus? Of course. They're good friends of mine. Then it may interest you to know that they work for me. I... I have no idea. They usually spare us some of their extra supplies, but they've been unable to keep up the last few months. I suspect they've fallen on hard times. See what's going on with them and help them if you can. Once you've finished, come back here, and we'll do what we can for you. Oh, and when you talk to them, use the code phrase, I've got the perfect life. That will let them know you're working for me. Hmm. Now get to it. Don't come back here until you've finished. And remember, I expect your loyalty. If you set foot anywhere near the Ministry of Energy, I don't want to see you meet an unfortunate end. I'm sure you understand. I wonder if you can actually die. The way he said something about, oh, we could use a double agent, or one of them said that, it makes me wonder that, had I chosen any of the three, I would still be alive. Or, I'm just really lucky and picked the right one. How's it going? Not so... Interesting company you keep downstairs. So, you're working for them now, are you? It seems that way. We've been hard-pressed to find new recruits. You're a welcome sight. People are scared. Between the plague and rumors of the Reaper going around, nobody wants to get their hands too dirty if they could help it. Well, except for me. I guess it's easier to be consistently miserable than to take a tough road to happiness. You're starting to sound like Danton now. Be careful where you say that. See you later, Clem. Take care of yourself, Amy. 
the way back out to the this door seems over if i i yeah if i right click on something i'm examining it if i'm left clicking on something i'm trying to physically interact with it so if i had looked at the bell that bell is used to announce the arrival of one of the aristocrats or their guards it's never good news when it rings the road goes on I've known Gus since we were kids. I'm glad he decided to stick with his family's business. That farm needs all the help it can. Okay, let's talk to uh, Gordon first. Oh, oh. Wait, what? Where are you going, Amy? Okay, that was weird. Gordon's good people. He's had it pretty rough lately. Hi, hey, Gordon. Hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you looking for? You know, if you helped me today, I'd have the perfect life. You mean... Ah, I see. Be careful where you say that, Amy. Right. Sorry. Anyway, what are you doing to help the others? A little extra scavenging for items they might find useful. But lately, I've been too distracted by the situation with my daughter. You'd think that for all the crap I collect, I'd have found something to at least try and make her a more effective mask. Only place I haven't had a chance to check out lately is Ooh, we the, get the scavenge factor. Even though I'm not sure there'd be much of use in there. I just want her to be safe. Losing my wife was bad enough. I can't lose her too. I know, Gordon. I know. I'll keep an eye out for what you need. You just try to relax. That would be awfully kind of you, Amy. Anytime. Bye, Gordon. Goodbye. And let's talk to Gus just to get all our quests up and running before we go out. Just couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. How are you doing today, Gus? Cause I've got the perfect life. Shh, not so loud. Sorry. So, how long have you been, you know? About a year now. But why? Isn't it risky for you? Sure, but to be honest, I, I kind of like the excitement. Makes me feel like I'm part of something important. Plus, things need to change. Just look around you. We can't live like this. Kids can't grow up like this. Danton's gonna bring back the old days. Anyway, I was told you were having some trouble, so I wanted to help. I'm not sure what you can do, but swing by the farm if you want. Pop was asking about you the other day. If nothing else, talk with him a bit. He misses you. See you later, Gus. You bet. Okay. That was seems a little easier. So the Centrix factory... Oh, I can't even go back to the Ministry of Energy. So that I can't get a fail state that way anyways. And Pop's farm. Let's go to the Centrix factory first. It just says furnace. I guess it's meant to be some sort of warning. It just... It just says... Huh. It's unlocked. That's kind of surprising. Denby? What are you doing here? Oh, uh, you know, living. That's what people do, I hear. Did you run away from home? I don't really want to talk about it. You can hang out here if you want, though. It's nice to have some company. Is that a, is that a little fucking... I don't us? want to risk damaging it any further. Yeah, probably best to just leave it where it is. Is she talking out loud? Every time she Great. says something? Too bad the legs are broken. Yeah. I wonder how that happened. That's weird. I'm guessing this valve must control some kind of gas flow. Assuming it still works, of course. Yep, it does. This is really weird. Well. Nothing in there. <laughs> what? I said ash, Denby. Nothing going on in there right now. But there is the smell of gas wafting out. That's a start. It wasn't me, I swear. Oh god, I hate you, Denby. Let's talk to you. Hey, Denby? Yeah? How long did you say you've been living here? Around two months. Not a bad place, really. There's plenty of room, and nobody comes by, so I've got all the privacy I could want. Well, nobody except you, anyway. 
I could leave you alone if you want. No, 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 uh, that's not what I meant. It's cool that you're here. It's nice to have someone to talk to. <laughs> exactly, Frosty. <laughs> she just walks up to someone. I can't just go around shooting people. Uh, she's just, like, clutching her crossbow. How did you manage to get in here? They didn't do a very good job of boarding up the doors. It was pretty easy to get in. I'm surprised nobody else tried before I did. I mean, there's, like, not much left in here. But glass is pretty valuable. I might trade it to Clem. Uh, I really doubt that he's a part of this, so I'm not going to say that to him. I'll just leave you to whatever it is you're doing. Thanks. I'm sitting there, alone and cold. They're up too high. Besides, I think they liven the place up. Yeah, don't mess up my decoration. Fuck, stop talking out loud. These are nice. It's like you've turned this place into a private gallery. Yeah. I keep them around for inspiration. Okay, that one was directed at him, so that one gets a pass. This one doesn't look finished. No, it's still a work in progress. Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, you're the only woman I know who isn't old and wrinkly, so you're way easier to draw. Wow. Wow. Anywho. Uh, is there anything else in here? That furnace could really be useful. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay. You're gonna leave me here with the gas on? Are you? Ugh. I mean, yes, but. There's nothing down there that interests me. I'd be worried if there was. Must be some kind of train. It doesn't smell very nice down there. That's not my fault. In case you were wondering. I Where wasn't. Where do people poop? But thanks for the clarification. Where do they poop in this world? Take care of yourself, Denby. I'll try my best. more wood I don't need to take any more wood right now oh I need to put all right let me just go back in. I'm back hope I'm not interrupting anything if you're worried about that you could always try knocking fair point yes yeah, just stop masturbating in the corner on your unfinished sketch of me that would be nice thank you if I put wood on there like this it'll just fall on the bottom when I light the furnace yeah and then the burnt smell will linger for days. If I put wood on there like this? Yeah. I don't know what that means. Oh. They're of no use. Harsh. If I put wood on- Yeah. If I put- Yeah. Hmm. Do I need to turn the bell first? If I put wood on there like this, it'll just fall on the bottom when I light the furnace. Yeah. So how do I light the furnace? Hey, Dad. Yeah. I'll just... Thank. All right. I must need a, a fuel source. All right, yeah. Source of fire. Which I don't have yet. Time for oh. I haven't got time to do much scavenging right now. Maybe later. Centrex. I remember hearing a lot about them. They're the ones who used to manufacture all the uranium glass before the bombs. Centrex. Nice looking vehicle. Doesn't look like it would take too much to restore it. Just a couple of spark plugs, most likely. Okay, I don't have... I doubt it'll come off the wall. It's been stuck there so long. I don't think I have what I need. So let's go to Pop's farm. Maybe we'll get what we need here. Oh, God, that smell. I think I might be sick. Amy, is that you over there? Hey, Pop. Gus said you'd been asking after me. It's been ages since I last saw you. Come over here and let's have a look at you. Are 
Are you under the weather, Pop? I'm not, but I can't say the same about my sheep. Take a look around. Hell, just take a whiff. That's the stench of failure. Things are bad. Don't know if we'll be able to dig ourselves out of this hole. Did your sheep get sick? What happened? Ran out of feed, so half of them starved to death. It's not a pretty picture. Ooh. Haven't been able to find anything else they'll eat. The farm's gone barren, and now the only thing I'm feeding is ravens. Truth is, if I can't come up with a way to keep the rest of the flock from dying, I'm done for. I'll keep an eye out for anything that might help. That'd be mighty kind of you. Why are all these ravens hanging around? Well, they're hungry too. Now that they got plenty of carrion, it's an open buffet for them. Little bastards have gotten bold too. Nothing I do seems to keep them away for long. At least having them around means nobody comes snooping around. They run off at first sight of them thanks to that kooky reaper cult. I think we're having the same kind of day. What's the matter? This morning I found a man underground. He'd been crushed underneath some rubble. And pulling that trigger was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I'm sorry, Amy, but it sounds like you did the right thing. Did I, though? I could have found someone to help. Why did he have to die? You listen to what the man wanted, it sounds like. In this hell hole, that's all we can ask for in our last moments. I guess you're right. Of course I'm right. Like he said, even if you had gotten him out, you wouldn't have had much of a life left to live. It's not something anyone likes thinking about, but it's reality. I know. I mean, I see death almost every day, but this was different somehow. Thanks, Pop. I think I needed to just get that off my chest. Anytime, maybe. I didn't realize you knew so much about the Reaper cult. I don't, and they don't want to. They're just a bunch of freaks who think worshiping the Reaper is gonna make them die quicker. But I thought the Reaper was just a story. It is, but they think the Ravens are a sign that the Reaper is on his way to take them away from their woes. So naturally, any half-wit who believes that crap and sees a Raven gets scared and goes running in the other direction. Bunch of bullhickey, all of it. Anyway, it's best if you stay away from the Reaper cult. Don't want to put any ideas in your head. Don't worry. I met one of them earlier. I'm not going anywhere near them if I can avoid it. Yeah, I'm not telling this line to anyone. I have to go. Come back and visit whenever. Because they're going to be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh. Poor th It doesn't seem to be doing a very good job of scaring away birds. Can't understand why. That gas mask on the face is pretty damn creepy. Can I take that gas mask? Say, Pop, would you mind if I took this gas mask? Nah, it's fine. Not doing too great a job scaring the birds, so I doubt taking it off will make much of a difference. Hope you weren't planning on using it, though. The filter's no good. That's fine. I'm sure I'll find some use for it. Okay. I shouldn't mess with it any- Shoo! It's just- Perched in the tree, watching me. Always watching. That old thing has been broken for years. I don't know why Pop doesn't just take it down. So it only seems like Denby can hear her thoughts, or she was just speaking out loud to him for some it is reason. Way beyond repair. But he's not responding to anything she said. Oh, oh. They look like they would fall apart as soon as I touch them. Shoo! I wish these. Oh, 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 alright. We're leaving. Let's, uh... Let's go back and see if we can give this gas mask to Gordon. Gordon, I found this gas mask, but the filter is empty. Would it be of any use to you at all? Yes, this is good. If I can get a filter, this would be exactly what I need. Thank you, Amy. Here, I have something you might like to trade. What is it? An aristocrat guard ran through here earlier and ah, dropped his flint flint lock. pistol. It got a bit damaged, but I figured you might be interested in messing around with it for parts. Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks. And don't worry, I'll find a filter for you, I promise. I'm sure somebody around here has to know something about them. Yeah, now that you mention it, Nelson's probably the guy to see about that. He's got books on just about everything. Wonder if we can create a uh, a filter somehow. 
Might as well continue that quest line for the moment. Hey, Nelson. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? I think I'd like to... Of course. Science. I want to read up on science. Wonderful. I think I've got just the book for you. Filtration systems. Ah, uh, be it for liquids or gases, most material found in most filtration systems is activated carbon. Activated carbon has many uses, such as gas purification, decaffeination, gold purification, metal extraction, water purification, medicine, sewer treatment, air filters, gas masks, and respirators, etc. Ease of production. Activated carbon is produced from carbonaceous source materials such as coconut husk, peat, wood, uh, core, choir, lignite, or coal, produced by either physical or chemical reactivation. Interesting. Physical. This information could be pretty useful. Source material is developed into active carbons by using hot gases such as steam or oxygen, heat heated to extremely high temperatures such as at a kiln or furnace. Uh, and chemical reactivation impregnated with acid, a strong basic salt. We're gonna have to do a physical reactivation. So we need to get it to 600 to 900 degrees Celsius. Okay. Oh, we read all the books and we got an achievement. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we got... Uh, educated. Alright, let's see if we can mess around with that furnace now. Just had to come back. Eh, I keep you around for some things. <laughs> I'll knock it off, Amy. You sound almost happy to see me. Ah, uh, let's see. So, gas. Pistol. Now we're cooking. What? You're actually gonna cook? No, it was a figure of speech. Oh, thank goodness. I still have nightmares about that lamb stew sometimes. I'll make it again if you don't shut up. Copy that. How do you this fuck it? Of wood. Oh god, shut up. No, do it. I see no reason to just toss this perfectly good piece of wood into the fire. You never did strike me as a pyromaniac. But... There have no... Heart. At least this will make carrying the wood around slightly easier. Okay, so that was the issue. I needed to put the wood I'm in the bucket. I'm not putting this inside while it's... Oh god, fine. Fine. We'll do it your way. What are you doing? An experiment. Boring. Not when it involves burning stuff. Oh. Well, yeah. That's cool then. I'm not about to go stick. I'll give you my pumpkin if you do. Fat chance. It's a pumpkin. So, did your experiment work? Don't be so nosy, Denby. My, oh. my cast iron bucket. It's been incredibly useful over the years, especially because it's heat resistant. Oh. That would have helped me understand why I was using that simple bucket. Nothing in there but ash. <laughs> what? I s uh. My cat. The bucket is heat resistant. Okay, I think I need to put water into the bucket first. Don't get into any. Tr I won't. It's my only guess.
Oh. Okay. I can't see any reason. Nope. I can't see any reason. Hmm. Anyone wishing to enter the vaccine lottery may do I so by to... visiting the appropriate ministry and applying. Oh, the so they want me to do the chemical reaction. Do you happen to know where I could find some salt? Salt? Hmm. I know Gus uses it to cure his meats. Why not try asking him? I'll see you. I look. So I guess I have to mix salt in with the wood and something else. I don't know. Just couldn't stay away. No. I'm looking for salt, like the kind you use on meats. Where can I find some? Well, there's plenty out at the salt flats just outside the city. But it's kind of a pain in the ass to go out there. The walk takes a while, and lugging the stuff back's a chore. It shouldn't be a problem. How do I get there? You know the abandoned South Coast Rail Yard near Fripp Square? Just follow the main track down about half a mile, and you'll find it. Thanks. we Will do. See you later, Gus. You bet. Okay. Well, that's that. I can't believe I never knew about this place. It's the perfect spot to get away from everything. Am I hearing things or is that music? Excavation. Plenty of salt has been dug up here. I'll take a handful. I don't think I need. Okay, I'll get that. Seems pretty nice out here. It's way beyond any sort of help now. I'm surprised this thing hasn't been chopped down for firewood yet. It's locked. How odd. Hmm, weird logo. Two sickles? Oh. It's That's not what I meant to do. Oh, uh, no items on the screen, so I'm just looking at it. It's Looks like this train has been here a long time. I wonder when the last time it actually ran was. Well, can't seem to do anything. That's not going I'm not sure how Let's just blow the door open. That's not... No? Okay. Back to the factory. Oops. Okay. Don't get into... I was expecting more dialogue, to be honest. Gotta get another piece of wood. I can't believe this has. I don't see any reason to throw salt in the bucket. Oh, what if I do? At least that and then okay. that. Okay, I'll rub salt into the wood. That should prep it for carbonization. Salt is use oh, oh. Salt is useful for preserving meat, but it can also have some more creative applications. So put the salt wood bucket into the furnace. Put gas into the furnace. Light that shit up. Turn the gas off. Check out the bucket. Nice. The wood burned long enough to become activated carbon. What? Spend some time reading Nelson's science books and you might learn something. Carbon. Perfect. I didn't know rubbing salt Don't into wood and lighting it on fire at high temperatures hey, would do that. I'm not that's kind of neat, actually. If that's true.
actually, I'm going to go back there for a second. And let's see if I can pick up another piece of wood. Because you never know. I don't need to take any more. Oh, okay. Gordon, look. I got you some charcoal for your gas mask's filter. I... I don't believe it. I don't know what to say. Then listen. Nelson has a science book explaining how you can make charcoal filters. It's really not that difficult. If you can find or make more masks, you can make filters and provide them to anyone who needs them. I'm stunned, Amy. Thank you for your help. We've all got to look out for each other. <laughs> Merchant, a word if you would. What do you want? Aurelius of the Ministry of Resources is officially requesting your supply of raw brass. What? But brass is my most valuable material. It's practically impossible to come by these days. Correct. Which is why in exchange, the Ministry is offering you ten food vouchers a week. Do you accept this offer? I... don't know. Ten food vouchers a week is a lot, but... I'll have to think about it. Very well. If you change your mind, please notify the Ministry, but know that this offer will not last forever. Good day to you, citizen. Good day to you, citizen. That's a tough offer to refuse. Why didn't you accept? Because if I hand over my materials to the aristocracy, I won't have enough to provide to Danton. That's pretty loyal, Gordon. She's what we need to change this place, even if it hurts in the short term. I like that the government guy didn't just say, hey, fuck you, give me your stuff. You know? That's pretty nice. Anyone wishing to enter? Hey, I Gordon. like that the slap Amy, cuts off what are you looking stupid. Uh, okay, they're done. That's all set. So, the only thing... Oh, I could give the flower to the pops. Maybe that'll cheer him up. I don't think a flower will cheer Pop. No? Alright. Home is on the outskirts to the east. From out here, the city looks kind of whole, like the pictures in Nelson's books. I can't just go. <laughs> I don't think he'd. Ah, uh, let's see. I don't really think we have anything to help him out. What's going on? I have to come back. Okay. Got nothing else. Yeah, the government isn't completely crazy, evil, authoritarian, or whatever, or a dictatorship, or anything like that. They're just kind of sketch. And the rich people have it way better than the poor people. But, you know, it's, it's not the worst they could be. Maybe they will be horrible if they kill those idealists, but for now, I uh, I think we're good. I think we'll keep playing this and see how far we can get, but for now, I think it's a good time to break. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.